Hey all, this is a quick demonstration of the new LoRa 5 locks. I will be simulating LoRa over a noisy channel to show off some of its properties, but I won't be spending too much time explaining LoRa, there is an accompanying blog for that. So let's get into it. Here we have a simple loopback modem. For the transmit chain, this is a test signal generator that produces an incrementing message count, and a pacer that limits it only to a few messages per second. LoRa is a very slow modulation, and you can't really have more than a few packets per second. Next we have a LoRa encoder, and a modulator to produce transmit samples. Then for the receiver chain, we have a demodulator and a decoder. The decoder feeds into the chat box so we can see the live messages being received. Also we have lots of widgets and plotters connected to monitor the state on the display page. And then between the RX and the TX chains, we have a very simple channel model uh, just for simulation purposes with additive noise and a phase offset. And the widget over here will let us scale the noise power in dB. Now let's check out the display page. Here we have several plotters, monitors, and a slider to control the noise power. Clicking activate starts the simulation. This first plotter shows us what a chirp looks like. This plotter shows us the power spectrum of several symbols in the chirp. Here we have the message box showing us the decoded message incrementing continually. Here we have the frequency demodulated uh, waveform and you can see these nice flat areas of constant ramping frequency. Those are our chirps. And here we have the same waveform but de-chirped and these areas of flat constant frequency are actually our decoded symbols. First, I'd like to show the effect that the spread factor has on this waveform. Currently we have a spread factor of 10, which means 1024 samples per chirp. I can decrease this, and now we can see that for the same time frame we have double the number of chirps, and here we have half the number of samples. Similarly, I can increase it, and now we can see that I have double the number of samples and half the number of chirps compared to the initial setting. Basically, we increase the spread factor to increase the robustness at the expense of adding additional time that our waveform takes to transmit. Now I'd like to show the effect of increasing noise on the system. So let's take up the noise a little bit. And we can see that as we increase the noise, we smear the waveforms. The, these areas that were nice constant frequency or, or frequency ramping are now very shaky. We can, see what the, we can still see our bass chirp, but it's all very jagged. However, we are still decoding packets. And as we continue to increase the noise, we can see less and less of our original waveform. However, we're still decoding our packets. I can continue to increase this to a point we no longer get our packets. Ah, there we have a big skip. You can see drop is incrementing. Now watch, we'll increase the spreading factor, increases our robustness, and now we've resumed receiving all of our uh, properly incrementing messages. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative, and as I mentioned, there's an accompanying blog, so please check the links down in the comments below.